So, right now we're going to start learning about hypothesis testing. Like, what is a hypothesis test? You, you have a guess and you're going to test if it's true? Sort of. Instead of answering that question directly, we're going to go back to a previous chapter. Assume that men's heights are normally distributed with a mean of 69 inches and a standard deviation of 2.9 inches. What is the probability that a random sample of 100 men has a mean height that's less than 68.2 inches? How do we do this? Anybody remember? Remember a formula that might have looked a bit like sample mean minus population mean divided by the standard deviation over the square root of n. Because we're looking at the difference between a sample mean and a population mean. OK, what's x bar? The mean of the sample. And mu, the mean of the population. Sigma is given, standard deviation is 2.9. And we measured 100 men. Remember, if you punch it into your calculator, put the whole top in parentheses and the whole bottom in parentheses. It should work out to negative 2.76. OK, that's a z. So we got a z-score, but we were asked, what is the probability? How do we turn a z into a probability? With the z-table. So we look on the z-table, negative. 2.76, 0 0.0029. That's what we got from the table. Is that the actual probability? Do we need to do any 1 minusing or anything? Nope, because it said less than. So that's 0 0.0029. That's less than 1%. This probability is very small. Now, let's take this in a direction that we haven't before. If somebody told you the true mean height of men is 69 inches, you might do an experiment to find out whether they're right or wrong. So you might go out and measure 100 men and see how tall they are. And you got a sample mean of 68.2 inches. Well, we wouldn't expect the sample mean to be exactly the same as the population mean. But is this distance big enough to suggest that the population mean might be wrong? Is it likely that we would have gotten a sample mean this far away from the population mean through sheer coincidence? The answer is very unlikely. The sample mean should not be this far away from the true population mean. So there's two possible explanations. Well, three. One is we messed up the experiment. The other two are this is wrong, or we just happened through a weird coincidence to get a whole bunch of men who were shorter than average. In this case, because the probability 
of coincidence is so very small, I'm going to say I don't believe the population mean. Our sample mean was far enough away from the population mean that the population mean looks like it's wrong. That's what's going on in a hypothesis test. You do an experiment to try to prove or disprove a claim. Like somebody says, OK, this is the true population mean. And then you beg to differ. So you find a sample mean. The question you answer in a hypothesis test is, was the sample mean far enough away from the population mean to suggest that the population mean might be wrong?